One thing, Kim, about the president's uh, speech yesterday that kind of sets the groundwork of what we might hear in a few minutes is Biden pledged to, is the way he put it, is to continue to speak out for the basic rights of the Afghan people, especially women and girls. Is it clear to you what that means and how that how they how they do that now? You know, I, it seems like those are words with no way to follow through on them. Uh, we've heard various different promises, both from the president and from the secretary of state, about how they would hold the Taliban to promises they'd made about offering amnesty, um, offering rights to women and girls. Uh, meanwhile, like many volunteers who've tried to get people out, my phone is blowing up with um, people reporting incidents of um, one person who was a government worker just told me that his house has been ransacked, they stole his car, they beat him up. They all knew he worked for the past government. So much for the promise of amnesty. And a group of um, international aid workers who got turned away from the border in Tajikistan, three of the women were pulled off the bus by the Taliban and threatened with whipping because they didn't have a male escort. So some of the promises we're hearing from the top of the group don't seem to be um, followed through um, throughout the different provinces. And and we haven't seen the Taliban do anything that they wouldn't have already done um, in response to U.S. government requests. So I, I just don't see what the leverage is.